Hi guys. Welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. It's a cold one. Whoo, we got done just in time. Hold on. Nice. It's raining. Not men, but it's raining. We're just going to give you a little insight of uh, kind of a little bit of what we do on a daily basis. Like I said, we've told you many times before, we're commercial lawn care during the summer. Not much lawn care going on this time of year, so we're picking up what we can where we can. Yeah, we do just a little bit of everything. I mean, <laughs> I've always said that Russ is a temp. I don't think there's anything he hasn't done. So, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm adding to that list now, though, but hey. <laughs> you guys, we have so many, so many projects that we need to get done on the farm, and you guys know if you have a homestead or a farm or even just at home, if you leave it, like, it's not really neglect. It's just we've been busy. We walked away for a few days where we're working. We went to go and uh, check on things yesterday. I mean, we live there, but, you know, to kind of keep... Actually checking things out. Yeah, well... Not just running through and doing our chores like we've right. been having to do the last few days. Right. Unfortunately, we had... Uh, two days in a row we had chickens get out and the dogs got a hold of a rooster and a hen um we've got some big decisions to make about may day uh you know if you guys have been watching you know he's my baby but uh best dog i've ever owned yeah the only problem is is he likes to uh he likes to kill chickens and ducks and eat them yeah he doesn't just kill them he eats them but um Anyway, we're trying to deal with that, um, trying to decide what we're going to do for sure with uh, May Day. He, he may uh, have a new home soon. Yeah, If he does, he'll be going to a good home um, for sure. We'll make sure that things are, you know, uh, just right. So, uh, But anyway, projects at home, whew, we have to beef up our chicken coop. It, it's just... It's how many years have we had that chicken coop? We've had it up there about three years now. Yeah, we so, built it about three years ago. And it was a temporary pen when we <laughs> built it three years ago, guys. I mean, <clears throat> I know chicken wire is not designed to build a chicken coop, but hey, <laughs> you know when when you're running ninety to nothing, the days unfortunately it seems like once in a while we're like, okay, we've had enough. We got to take one day and just relax and i know everybody's got those days coming we just as everybody knows it's got a homestead or even just a, a big garden at, at your place it's constant work yes so we've got that chicken coop we've got we want to finish that uh greenhouse the way things are looking right now the greenhouse is probably not going to be done to be able to utilize it so much this year but you know come fall we'll definitely be able to use that uh we also oh God, we haven't even gotten our um new beds in the in the um garden yet but we need to uh work on that and like russ said there's some days we just need a day to relax and rest and nine times out of ten if we get that day we're working on the homestead <laughs> Which that is restful and relaxing to us. Very um, peaceful to, to be at home. And as, it, as you guys all know, to be working on your own stuff and not have to worry about, oh, well, the boss wants it done this way. You know, this is the way I want it. Right. And that's so relaxing and peaceful to do. Yes. Well, we've jumped out there and done. we're doing construction right now. Uh, just a little bit of everything on these uh, apartment overhauls or rehabs. rehabs is what they call it but uh anyway we just brought you guys along today we're actually at the end of our day now but uh we'll kind of show you what what we worked on today we had power washing and striping parking striping lots parking lots <laughs> and chasing, setting parking lots yeah chasing people yeah yeah it's been crazy we've done a lot of uh dirt work lately i'm here to tell you that shovel is mean. <laughs> I am so sore. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks you guys for following along on our adventures. And uh, I know we're kind of all over the place right now. Things are just kind of jumpy for us. But, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to have some more time on the homestead. If it ever stops raining in northeast Oklahoma. 
you know, I hate complaining about it. We we come from the panhandle um, originally of Oklahoma, and I, you know, we've been here almost eight years, um, but I, I still remember, you know, praying for rain, praying for rain, just, you know, and... Um, Guys, I never thought I'd see the day that I'd pray for it to stop raining. <laughs> just for a little bit. I mean, I know just we give hit... me about four days with some nice... <laughs> Light 30 mile an hour winds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's go back to the panhandle and we'll take a 20 mile an hour wind any day over here. Right. We're trying <laughs> to get things dried up because we have a lot of dirt work to do. And right now, today, um, well, for the last couple of weeks, we've been in Inola, Oklahoma. And uh, you guys, it's all clay over here. Like the dirt work we're trying to do is wet clay. We're so ready for it to dry up. Probably once it dries, we're going to be complaining that it's too hard to dig. In. It's too hard. <laughs> it's too dry. It's too hot. Uh, yeah, we just complain all the time. Yeah, that's <laughs> why we call ourselves Robertson Belly Acres. We're the Belly Acres. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks, you guys. Um, if you like the video, um, after you've watched it and whatever and whatnot, just uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends and smash that bell, guys. Yes. We're going to have new videos up, hoping to have a couple more up this week. So Yes, we're trying to get back into the swing of things where we have more videos coming. It's just been uh, just been pretty crazy, but we, we're getting there. <laughs> All right, till next time, God bless. See ya.